Good morning. Let us study today imperfections or defects in crystal. Although crystals look perfect, crystals are perfect, it's beautiful, perfect, but there are still defects, there are imperfections in beautiful crystals. We think crystals are very perfect, but there are also defects in crystals. Define, let us define defects in crystals. What are the reasons why do defects occur in crystals? We will see. What is called a perfect crystal? In perfect crystal, the ions or the constituents, the atoms are arranged in a completely regular three-dimensional pattern. The ions or atoms are arranged in a periodic regular manner in three dimensions. What are imperfect crystals? It is just the opposite. In imperfect crystals or in defect, defect crystals, the constituents are not arranged in a completely regular three dimensional pattern. There are in Imperfections or defects in crystals arise due to deviation from the regular periodic three-dimensional arrangement. Okay. There are deviations from the regular periodic arrangement. Why there are defects in crystals? Due to thermal vibrations. For example, in ionic crystals, there are vibrations of atoms. Always there will be vibrations of atoms or ions. Due to thermal vibrations, atoms are vibrating. So, because of high thermal vibrations, the, at, the ions leave their site and there are vacancies. The ions leave the, the ions are lost from their lattice site to form vacancy or defect. Okay. Now, if you increase temperature, let us increase the temperature. What will happen? The thermal vibrations are increasing. The thermal vibration. Therefore, there will be more chance for the ions to leave the lattice site. Therefore, increase in temperature increases the imperfections or increases the defects in crystals. What are the effects of uh, defects? For example, it affects the properties, mechanical properties. It is easily broken. The crystal is easily broken because of the defects. It also increases the electrical conductivity. Conductivity increases and also chemical reactivity. These properties are affected to a large extent. Okay. Now, how do you see imperfection in crystal, defect in crystal? Using electron microscopy, we can see the defects in a solid crystal. Electron microscopy is used to investigate or to study the defects in solid crystal. Okay. Why crystals have defects? Thermodynamically, thermodynamically, all see you have a pure perfect crystal and you have imperfect crystal, in which case there is increase in entropy, increase in entropy. For example, in perfect crystal, the constituents are Orderly arranged. Order. There is order in solids. There is in, diff, in imperfect crystal, defect crystal. There are disorder. Therefore, it thermodynamically increasing entropy favors the process. Therefore, all solids have tendency to form defects because it results in increase in disorder. Increase in entropy favors the 
defects in crystal. There are three classifications of defects. See one by one. The first classification is stoichiometric defects and non-stoichiometric defects. Okay. In stoichiometric defects, there are two types. Hotkey defect, Rangel defect. In non-stoichiometric defects, metal excess due to anion vacancy, F center, metal excess due to extra cations present in the interstitial site, metal deficiency defect due to cation vacancy. We will see further in the examples. The second classification is Intrinsic defects and extrinsic defects. What are intrinsic defects? These are found, these are seen in pure crystals. These are these occur in pure crystals. Whereas in extrinsic defects, these are due to presence of impurities in the crystal. If there are impurities in the crystal, then the defect is called extrinsic. You are externally adding impurity, therefore extrinsic. Here there are these are seen in pure crystals. The third classification is point defects, extended defects. Okay. What are point defects? Example, Scott key defect, triangle defect. These occur at lattice point. These occur due to missing lattice point. Yes. If these occur, if these defects occur along one dimension, along line, then it is called a line defect. If the defects occur along a plane, along a plane, then it is called plane defects. What are called stoichiometric defects? Stoichiometric compounds are also called Daltonite. Stoichiometric compounds are called Daltonites. They have stoichiometric compounds have fixed composition or constant composition. For example, NaCl, 1 is to 1. They have 1 is to 1 fixed. Calcium chloride, 1 is to 2. They have fixed composition. Whereas non stoichiometric defects, they don't have fixed composition. We will see. There are two types of stoichiometric defects. One is called Scott key defect. Another is called Frankel defect. In Scott key, Scott key defect in crystal arises due to vacancy of cations and anions. Some lattice points are missing. See. There are some lattice points here, B minus, B minus, therefore A plus. It should be A plus, but A plus is missing. Similarly, A plus, B minus, B minus is missing. Back and, these are all back and sides. So, in imperfect crystal, there are back and sides. Okay. Scott key defect arises due to vacancy of cations and anions. Some lattice points are unoccupied. Okay. These crystals are still electron neutral. They are neutral, electron neutral, just neutral only because one B minus is lost, A plus is lost, then one B plus A plus is lost. One cation, one anion is lost, or two cation, two anion lost because equal number of cations and anions are lost. Therefore, these crystals with this quantity defect are electro-neutral. It occurs in, spot key defect occurs in ionic compounds only with the radius of cation equal to radius of anion. Radius of cation equal to radius of anion. Therefore, R plus by R, uh, R plus by R minus equal to 0. It also occurs in high coordination ionic compounds. High coordination means uh, each ion is surrounded by six other or eight other oppositely charged ions. For example, sodium chloride, cesium chloride, 
they exhibit Scott key defects. Now, how do you calculate the number of Scott key defects? Using this relation, we can calculate the number of Scott key defects per centimeter cube, where Ns is the number of Scott key defects per centimeter cube and N is the number of sides, for example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here, one pair. One pair is one point. Therefore, um, number of lattice sides per centimeter cube of the crystal. And ES is the amount of energy required to form one Scott key defect. One Scott key defect. K is called Boltzmann constant. R by N. R is molar gas constant divided by N. U is the Avogadro number. P is the absolute temperature. Now let us see Frankel defect. Due to small cation, due to small cation, it moves to interstitial empty site. See, these are called interstitial spaces. Interstitial and there are in lattice, lattice there are um, vacant sites. There are vacant sites called interstitial sites. Because of small size of cation, it moves to this uh, interstitial space. space. So, vacancy, there is a vacancy at the cationic site. Vacancy at the and this results in imperfection in the crystal. Okay. So vacancy um, is created, is formed at the cationic site. Okay. Here again the crystal is electroneutral because equal number of cations and anions. Equal number of cations and anions thing is lost, nothing is lost, only it moves to, because of thermal vibrations, high thermal vibration, it moves to, the small cation moves to interstitial It is still electron neutral. It occurs in ionic compounds with the R plus is less than R minus, that is A, A plus is radius of cation is less than than radius of anion. Therefore, R plus by R minus less than 1. It also occurs, Frankel defect occurs in here high coordination ionic compounds. It occurs in low coordination ionic compounds. For 4 or 6, for example, zinc sulfide, silver chloride, silver iron, etc. Again, the number of Frankel defect is calculated by this relation, n of is the number of Frankel defect per centimeter cube of the crystal, n is the number of lattice sides per centimeter cube, n prime is the number of alternative interstitial sides, just how many interstitial sides per centimeter cube, and e. F is the amount of energy required to form one Frankel defect. Okay. There are non stoichiometric defects. We have seen stoichiometric defects. In this, we will study non stoichiometric defects. Non stoichiometric compounds are called alkaloids. Stoichiometric compounds are called, are also called daltonites. Non stoichiometric compounds are called are also called alkaloids. Okay. It does not possess, it does not have fixed composition or constant composition. NaCl, it won't be NaCl because 1 is to 1. Non stoichiometric means we will see the ratio of atoms or ions does not correspond to their formula. Let's see further. There are three types of non stoichiometric defects. One is metal excess due to anion vacancy and another is metal deficiency 
due to anion vacancy here due to cation vacancy metal excess extra cation is present in the interstitial site extra cation is Let's see one by one metal excess metal why it is metal excess because one of the anion is missing one of the anion is lost in this uh, vacant anion thing it is similar to scott key but only one hole in scott key defect one cation one anion are lost here only anion is lost anion is lost therefore only one mode it is similar to however it is similar to scott key defect this anion holds for example a plus a plus b minus anion is anion vacancy here these anions anionic vacant sites are occupied by electron called f centers f centers they are called this defect is also called f centers f centers are occupied by electron therefore it gives color the color is due to f centers or the electrons since electrons um, are present in the um, they give color in german or means color in german so these are uh, f centers more f centers more more the crystal is color plus the electrons are uh, readily excited they give color because of the presence of free electrons in the crystal they are paramagnetic the crystals are paramagnetic okay on irradiation when light falls on it it becomes photoconductors it becomes photoconductor because of free electron because of negatively charged electron it gives n type conduction negatively charged n means negatively charged the conduction is due to the flow of negatively charged electrons okay for example sodium chloride is white in color no sodium chloride is white in color but when heated with the sodium vapor it becomes yellow due to the formation of f center due to the formation of defect similarly potassium chloride is also white in color it is perfect when heated with its potassium vapor it forms this defect Blue yellow color. Next, we will see metal excess. Ex extra cation. See, all the cations anions are present. There is extra. There are extra cations present in the interstitial site, and they are uh, neutralized by they are neutralized by the electron. So, this is similar to. extra cations present in the interstitial site therefore here ab 1 minus delta because uh, b b minus is missing so oh, not all the b minus is missing a few of the a fraction of the um, anion is lost therefore nacl 0.9 so it is not 1 is to 1 ratio therefore it is non stoichiometry it is non stoichiometry it does not correspond to its formula here a 1 plus delta b delta is small fraction that is more to have excess cation extra cation therefore a 1 plus delta and example if p 1.20 or 1.2 Mo, non-stoichiometric compound formula is FeO. Since it is stoichiometric, for Fe 1.2, 0.2 cation excess. This is because the excess extra cation, excess cations occupy the interstitial site 
it is similar to frankel defect but no holes here you see there are no holes here there are holes occupied by the uh, holes occupied by the electrons here there are no holes but no holes both cation and small cation the cation is small and only it will form this defect similar to frankel defect both small cation and electron occupy the interstitial sites for example zinc oxide cadmium oxide this type of conduction and also n type this gives n type conduction because of the ready flow of because of the fast flow of electron cation next metal deficiency due to cation vacancy because of thermal vibration a few of the cations are lost because of the heavy vibrations the it leaves the site that is site so due to cation vacancy here because of thermal vibration anions are lost this is anion vacancy and cation vacancy for example cuy cuprosiderite fes fuo or when heated with the oxygen because of the hole this is um, heat type conduction heat type conduction this heat type conduction for example if uh, one cu plus is missing here cation one cu plus is missing then one cu2 plus will be there similarly if for example fe2 plus is missing then there must be two fe3 plus ions if one fe2 plus is missing then to make it electro neutral two fe3 plus will be missing okay so thank you for watching